beautiful people of the internet, and welcome to the Backyard Lab. My sister and I attempt science experiments in our backyard. So Elizabeth, what are we going to learn about today? Today, Ryan, we are going to learn about bubbles. Bubbles? We have to learn the science behind what makes great bubbles to perfect our epic bubble solution. So let's start with a simple liquid, water. But it's like impossible to blow bubbles with water. They all pop. Right. What you've noticed is that it's really hard to make a film out of water. The reason why is because individual water molecules are attracted to each other, creating high surface tension. Huh? It means that water does not like to be stretched out into a thin film. So we need to lower the surface tension to make the water stretchier? Exactly. Now, can you think of something that is very good at making bubbles? Soap. Soap is great at making bubbles. And the reason why it's great is because it lowers the surface tension. Soap molecules will sandwich water molecules, allowing for a flexible film of liquid to form. However, some surface tension does exist, so when you push the film and fill it with air, the molecules will move around to minimize the surface tension and prevent popping. This is why bubbles always try to form spheres. Well, if we mix soap and water, that will make the best kind of bubble. Well, not exactly, because there are other forces of evil getting in the way of our excellent bubbles. So we've solved the issue of making our liquid stretchy enough to allow a bubble to form, but we haven't addressed the issue that you can physically rupture or poke the bubble, allowing air to escape and the bubble to pop. Now dirt and oil are very good at doing this because they are able to interact with the soap molecules. So we need a liquid that can stand up to dirt so that way it won't pop. Exactly. Now here's another problem. Sometimes the liquid will evaporate. If your water evaporates from your bubble, there's not going to be enough liquid to form the bubble. So we need to prevent... The evaporation. Exactly. So that our bubbles don't dry out. This is glycerin. It's a type of alcohol that people use to make certain kinds of medicine. But it's special because, first of all, it doesn't interact with dirt or oil. So you prevent popping that way. And it also loosely binds to the hydrogen atoms in water. And it prevents water from evaporating. So yesterday, I took one cup of distilled water. Next, I added two tablespoons of dish soap, then a tablespoon of glycerin, which you can find next to the Band-Aid section of pharmacies. You could also try using corn syrup if you can't find any. Then, I left it alone for a day so the bonds could form between the molecules. First, we're going to need to put some gloves on because we want a clean surface free of dirt. And then we're going to protect our really messy table with my science knowledge bowl shirt from high school. Let's see what happens. bigger bubbles? Well, I figured you would ask that question, so last night I made up a batch of extra big bubble solution. So I took six cups of distilled water, half a cup of dish soap, and a tablespoon of glycerin. Oh, so the same materials as last time? Um, yes, the same materials, but on top of that, I added half a cup of cornstarch, which thickens the liquid and the film, further preventing evaporation and making a heartier film. And I added a tablespoon of baking powder, not soda, which produces carbon dioxide when mixed with water, allowing the bubbles to float better. So let's try it. Questions and suggestions in the comment box. See ya! Ba, 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 ba.